my name is Julie Martin and I'm from Duke University. I'm here at the 26th Annual APS Conference in uh, San Francisco, California, and I'm a Student Research Award winner. Um, so following rejection, we have two primary motivations. On the one hand, we want to repair our belonging and seek social connection, but on the other hand, we're also motivated to avoid further rejection and its accompanying, accompanying hurt. Uh, so my research was really interested in the role that our level of belonging plays in a given moment in our desire to pursue either of these goals, so either social reconnection or social withdrawal. Um, so in my study, I first primed people to be either high or low in belonging through an essay prime, and then we either rejected people in the laboratory or give the, gave them neutral feedback. And then what, what we found was that state belonging does play uh, a key role in whether or not people choose to pursue re social reconnection goals or social withdrawal goals following rejection. Uh, specifically, we found that people who were primed in high belonging increased in their motivation to work with others following rejection, which suggests that they're motivated to pursue social reconnection following rejection. But participants who had uh, been primed with low belonging actually decreased in their motivation to work with others following rejection, which suggests a, a preference for social withdrawal over social reconnection. Um, we also found that low belonging participants increased in their ratings of hostility in neutral faces following rejection, which suggests that they're seeing an they're, they're displaying an increased vigilance to social threat and cues for social threat following rejection, which again suggests that they're focusing on avoiding the potential for a further rejection. Uh, given that low belonging is associated with a host of negative mental and physical health outcomes, it's important uh, to recognize this research and to think about ways that we can help people who are struggling with low belonging or intense rejection experiences to recover. And one way that we might want to do this is uh, encouraging people to shift the focus back towards the benefits of connection and away from the uh, negatives of potentially being rejected. Um, and I think that's it. Thank you so much.